have a thing that I've been using for 20, 17 fucking years, all right? It's called the power list. And if you've heard of it before, you know what I'm gonna talk about for the next five minutes. If you haven't heard of it, this is gonna be the best five minutes of your fucking life, all right? Here's the deal. Every single day, you've gotta win the day. Ben and I both use that phrase all the time. I can't tell you how many times I text my dudes or call my dudes or call people or talk. I'm like, look, dude, just win today. Just worry about today. Make a habit of winning today. And that's what the power list does. It helps you win the day, all right? So when you're first starting out on a goal, whether it be business, whether it be fitness, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You're in a process of changing your actions. You're in the process of changing things that are so ingrained into your brain that anything else seems like tremendous discomfort, tremendous work, all right? It's a pain in the ass. That is normal. Every single, it's not just you, it's not just you know your goals or your situation. Every single person who ever attempts to get in shape or whoever attempts to build a new company or progress in their career goes through that process because you're breaking habits, all right, and replacing them with new ones. So on day one, the way the power list works is this. You're gonna take out a sheet of paper and you're gonna write at the top, day one, Monday. All right, and let's just for just for argument's sake, I'm going to make up some points. You're going to take the list. You're going to number it one, two, three, four, five down the page. All right, and you're going to put in those spaces five critical tasks that you're going to do that day. All right, and this is important because I see people misusing the power list. They're putting power list and they're putting like goals underneath it. It's not a fucking goal. And this is this is a what to choice. do you today. either do it or you don't yes. do it it's a choice this is actionable actionable things that you are going to do all right so on january 1st 2016 this is what mine most likely look like i could go back and find it but i'm just going to tell you what it looked like do cardio for 40 minutes lift chest because everybody knows monday is international chest day all right so um eat six you know, six meals that are on my program, all right? Then I'm going to call this person about this project and have a conversation with them, all right? And then I'm gonna read my five to 10, or my 10 pages because I was out of the habit of reading at that time, all right? Now, as I do those things, so after I do my cardio, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna draw a line through it, all right? This is important. As I, after I get done, lifting my weights, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna draw a line through it. All right, after I eat my last meal of the day where I didn't cheat and I didn't eat shit, I'm gonna go through and draw a line through it. All right, these aren't in order. You don't have to do them in order. It's just the things I've gotta do. Critical tasks that will move you forward. All right, we're not talking about brush your teeth. We're not talking, unless you have a problem brushing your teeth. You know, if it's a problem for you, go ahead and put it in there. All right, but I'll explain why this is important in a second. I'm after I after I make my phone call and talk to you know this business opportunity and have that conversation, I'm gonna cross it off. All right. After I do all my things, I'm gonna cross it off. And at the end of those five things, guess what? I put a W on the page for a win. All right. Now, I want to bring a couple things to your attention. One, everybody always asks, well, how come I don't put 18 things on there? This is why you don't put 18 things on there because you can't fucking do 18 critical tasks in a day. And it doesn't, you're not that disciplined to get all those things done every single day. So we're going to keep it real fucking simple. All we want to do is tick the needle forward a little bit. All right. So if I did those five things, that was a win. Go to the next day. Same things. All right. Let me, let me, let me cut yeah. you off and then turn the mic right back to you. Cause I want everybody to capture this. Cause Andy said he's hearing that when people are utilizing this power list, that they're putting goals up on the board. What you did not hear Andy say is, today I'm gonna make a million dollars in my business. No. No, it's the phone call that he can control that might lead to business. That's right. The only thing he can control is picking up the phone and making the phone call to have that interaction with somebody that might lead to business. That's right. These aren't goals. It's not, I'm going to lose 10 pounds today. It's no, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to choose to work out. And then I'm going to choose to eat six meals. 
Everything he just mentioned, 100% a choice. You either right. do it or you don't. It's it's things that, that are actionable steps that you can do. All right? They're not dependent on other people. Okay? So you flip, you know, let's just flip through real quick. All right, go through first, let's say, 30 days of my program. Those The list is going to look pretty much the same because I... I needed to get in the habit of doing those things. All right. So now 30 days in, I look back and I see all these crosses and all these W's, like all the cross offs of the list and all these W's. So what am I doing? I'm creating momentum. I'm creating momentum in things that I didn't believe I could do. And when you create momentum in things you didn't believe you could do, guess what starts to happen? You start to believe it. Okay. So Let's say 30 days in, my list looks pretty much the same. I look back at it. It's five critical tasks that are pretty much the same task. You know, that call somebody might be meet somebody. Um, The read 10 pages, I might've got back in that habit a little faster. So I changed that, but that's what I want to bring up. Once the things that you put on there become natural for you, where you feel like you don't need to write them down anymore, that's when you stop putting them on the list because they are your new habits. You don't need a reminder to do those things. You don't need to cross those things off because you're gonna fucking do them. Like, okay, so let's let's fast forward to 30 days in. I'm doing cardio every day, I feel good about that. I'm gonna do it every day because I'm feeling good. Um, I'm eating good every day, so I, I got two extra spaces. All right, I'm struggling with my weight still because I, I'm really still sore and I'm a little injured because I haven't lifted in a while, so I'm gonna keep that on there. All right, so now I've got two other spaces to fill in there. So I take off the cardio, I take off the meals because those are new habits that I've accepted and I'm doing them automatically. And I make a new list. And the list would be, all right, um, and I took the 10 pages off too because I'm back in that habit. So now I've actually got three more slots for critical tasks, okay? So since I've got my fitness in control, I'm still gonna write down the five tasks, no more than five, all right? And I'm going to write in, um, you know, call this person about that because I always want to move forward in my business and I don't want to ever take that for granted ever. I'm going to say, you know, go meet this person about that. I'm going to say, um, you know, make a podcast today. Start my podcast today. I'm going to say, um, you know, go do this charitable action today. And then, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna include new lists to help expand the other areas now that I've got this area ingrained as a habit. And what this does, guys, is this allows you to conquer little areas of your life at a time and, and get to the point where you wanna go, okay? The biggest problem that people have whenever they try to do something is they try to do fucking everything. We're motivated, we're excited. You know what? I'm gonna start my diet, I'm gonna lift weights, I'm gonna fucking become a billionaire, I'm gonna become Mr. Fucking Charity, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna become super dad, and you know what happens? Fucking nothing. Because you don't take the time to actually go through this process of letting these things start to ingrain themselves in your thoughts, in your actions on a daily basis. Because when you're winning every day, guys, and you're doing things, you start to develop something called confidence. Okay, and confidence is where you can lay down at night and close your fucking eyes and see the vision that you wanna see and actually believe that you're gonna be able to achieve it. All right, and this is the tool I use. This is the tool I show everybody. This is the tool I've been using. I have the same fucking notebook from 2005 when I, when I got a real official notebook and I replaced the pages. It looks, it's torn, tattered, but you know what? I'm never getting rid of the motherfucker because it's been with me the whole fucking journey. If you won the day by fucking noon, guess what? You got the rest of the day to enjoy your fucking life. You don't have, that's, dude, that's a common mistake that people, dude, we, I know I hear this and I know you hear this all the fucking time, Ben. What about sleep? I got, I can't sleep. I gotta, I gotta be awake. I gotta go to bed at one and wake up at two. I gotta fucking, you know, be awake 27 hours a day. Like all these Instagram fuck faces tell everybody. It's not true. Dude, I sleep a shitload. I fuck off a shitload. But you know what I do first? All the shit on my power list. And you know what? I move forward a little bit every single day.